Hello everyone and welcome to Fork Master's Vlog for the Warm Up for the Files and Gaming System created by Games Workshop based in the UK and welcome to episode 14 of the first season of the Horus Heresy project this will be the second last video that you see in this season and, and it's simultaneously very special because this is the last video that I'm recording the next video which will be the conclusion to this season and also the showcase of the whole army was recorded like oh, almost three, almost four years ago. So this makes it a little bit special that we're closing off this chapter in my life because I've this project, or this first season, I mean, it began in 2015. So it's almost six years since I started doing this. So it's been a long thing in awaiting. Yeah. So what we're gonna show today is my drop pod for the army. They're all painted in the word bearers colors. It's been very fun to get this because I, I think I got two of them uh, second hand and one of them I bought together with a pack of uh, regular space marines. Like uh, you get one drop pod and a, and, and a tactical squad all in the same. It might have been two actually who was that. But either way. Yeah so it's, what I really like about doing these type of models is that you can do so much on the sides to decorate. Like for instance here you have the mark of the word bearers, scripture, more scripture, scripture and star locations. This is the elite that's dropping in here. The 17th legion, that was uh, not easy to do because I had to use the Roman numerals that was one to 10 and I had to put them in a particular order and it was, it was not easy to get them in a proper line. Like for instance, the V here is a bit above the others if you look closely. Regular tactical squad. The chaos markings has started to spread on this one. Elite. Command squad. Command. So, so yeah, it's been very fun to decorate them. So we're gonna take a quick break and then we're gonna go into and check out their insides. So stay put. So now we're back again. So here are the insides and as you can see they have been as much fun to decorate on the insides and on as on the outsides. So the first two over here you can see are specially targeted to look like um, you can have speech wings inside of them. Same you can see over here. It's a shame that you don't have any space wings that can be placed within these because that would be the next step of making this look even cooler. And this one is empty on the inside and that's because uh, at the time when I was making these there weren't any drop pods for dreadnoughts. So I was thinking well I'm gonna make one of my own. Uh, with an empty inside and so your my contemporary dreadnought can walk out of it. The problem is that I know for certain that my contemporary dreadnought would never fit in here. It would be just a count as. But uh, yeah, I, and I know that there are drop pods for for content for dreadnoughts now. However, by the time they came out in Forge at Forge World, I was like, I'm already done with my word bears army. I don't want to continue with this. I'm continuing with other projects. So that's why I never got them. This one is also second hand because uh, this uh, uh, this one is a bit broken. As you see, it's missing the side here. So I had to place a magnet here. So when I close it up, it is smashed together. But yeah, so this is closing off another chapter in my life. My drop pods. I was gonna make an animation with these different models, but uh, by the time now I, I kind of lost interest in that, and I decided that no, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put any more effort into that. I've already wasted enough time, and it's not gonna be good either way. So, yeah. So stay put for the last episode next week. So thank you much for watching this. See you around, everybody. Bye bye.